Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. And today I am doing a very exciting flip through video for you guys. I am flipping through four new Disney mystery French color by number books. Um, none of these are new, like actually new new, like to the coloring world. They're just new to me. Um, if you guys didn't know, back in July, I made my first Amazon France order and like, wow, that has changed my life forever. Um, I ordered like four or five of these Disney color by number books and I have been obsessed ever since. Um, I, yeah, basically today I'm going to be flipping through four of the books. Um, of my new ones, if you guys watched my last video, which if you have not yet, you totally should, I ranked all of my Disney Color by Number books. Um, I did not include any of these in them for a couple reasons. Um, number one is I had not colored in any of them, and number two is that I literally just received two of them today in the mail. Like, I literally grabbed the package 20 minutes ago and here we are. So yes, I'm going to be flipping through all four of these books. I have Le Grand Classique's Tomb 1, Tomb 2, Trump Lale, Tomb 1, and the um, fantasy book, fantasy creature book. Um, if you guys are not into the spoiler aspect of these kind of videos or these books, like you don't want to know the, the backs of the books, you might not want to watch these videos. I will just see you in my next one. I appreciate you tuning in. And if you are into the spoilers, then this is the perfect video for you. If you are deciding which coloring books um, you are looking at getting, I highly recommend watching through, um, honestly, anybody's flip throughs, but I do have flip throughs of some other ones too on my channel. So yes, I think that's it for the intro. It's been very long. Let's get right into the first book. So the first book I have here is Le Grand Classique's Tomb 1, and I apologize in advance for my French. It's not good in the slightest. In fact, I don't know it. So I'm pronouncing everything wrong, and yeah, that's that. So um, if you guys aren't familiar with these books, basically they're really large color by number books where basically pages start out looking like literally like just a bunch of lines and then they turn into beautiful pictures and I am currently working on this page um I'll admit it's still looking really creepy but it's not looking like terrible so yes it turns from a mystery into something beautiful like that well, not beautiful like this, but you know what I mean. Anyways, let's find the back of the book and just begin going through all of the solutions. Let me make sure you guys are in frame, which it does look like you are. I apologize if anything gets a little bit cut off in this video. Um, it's really hard to film these kind of videos. Let's see, maybe I can bump it up just a little bit for you guys to be able to see. Um, actually, yeah, that might be better. I'm just worried that I won't be able to like see in the viewfinder, but you know what, whatever. Anyways, so this book is their first one they came out with, which means it's going to have a lot of older Disney movies. It's not gonna have super new stuff, which is totally cool because I have way too many with the newer stuff. So it's kind of nice to just get some of these pages of the classics. Love this Toy Story page. I love all of these, honestly. It is my goal in life to collect them all, which at this rate will be by frickin' next year at this point. Um, I mean, I don't really regret getting them. The thing is I know I'm gonna color in them and they're really, really fun. Um, so no, I do not regret getting any of these. Um, I know I'm buying them a little quickly, but that's okay. They're super fun, they're really relaxing, and you always have something you want to color in it, I feel like. Super fun. I will admit, well I'm not really admitting it, it's truthful. One, this book does have a typo, and I'll point that out here in a minute when it comes up to it. It's not the worst thing in the world, but obviously it's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. This is the cover image. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. I think you are. Maybe I'll stand up. 
here is the typo. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are on 65, 66, 67, 68. And then it brings back these four thumbnails that were before 29, 30, 31, and 32. Now, luckily, the actual book itself, um, the pages are not messed up. So those are just true mysteries for me. Um, but there was a typo in the book. So I don't think every copy would come that way. It's just my copy, unfortunately, did come that way. Yeah, these are just so freaking fun. I'm so excited. Clearly, I did not need more of these books. I am at um, 11 of the big books, which is a lot for having just started to collect them less than six months ago. That being said, you guys, these are really fun. And honestly, if you enjoy something, um, as long as, you know, you can afford to do it, like, I say just go for it, you know? You only live once. Um, life is short. I have learned that. Very recently, um, kind of off topic, but I'm sure you guys heard, Bob Saget passed away, and that really hit home for me, and it hit hard. So, life is short, do what you love, and there's that. But anyways, again, that was off topic. Although not really, because like, childhood, and this is all childhood too, so. I'm just rambling at this point. And then, uh, this is the last page. So, really fun pages in this book. I really like it. Um, yeah. That is Le Grand Classique's Tomb 1. Okay, so from this book on... Actually, that's not true. I was going to say I'm not going to show you guys the um, actual, like, these pages, but for the next one I will. But for this one I won't. This is Le Grand Classique's Tomb 2. Let's grab the answer key. I have yet to start a page in this book, and honestly, I have yet to start a page in any book except for Tomb 1 um, out of these four, but I'm very excited to dig right in. The pages in here are so fun, and there were a couple reasons in specific I really wanted this book. Um, number one was this page in particular, this Winnie the Pooh, um, what's his name, page. <laughs> I just saw Danielle's completed page of it, and she said it was, like, one of her favorites, and I love, like, the pumpkins and everything. It's so fall. I wish it was fall time still, but it's not. It's dead winter, so love that, but... This book brings in a couple newer movies. Not, like, super much newer, but enough. Again, just because it's the second volume, you get newer movies with the newer volumes, and just the newer books in general. The cover page, which I really want to do. That is so stunning. I've been super intimidated by some of the more detailed pages, but you guys, I just need to go for it and just color them. Another page I really wanted was this. Another one Danielle like, colored and loved, and I think it's super cute. So, obviously, I got the book for more than just that, but I'm sure those will be some of the first pages I do. I was kind of thinking, I think it'd be really fun to do um, a challenge video with these books and basically do a whole number gener random number generator kind of thing. And basically, um, like, number generate 1 through 11, pick a book that way, and then pick 1 through 100, pick a page that way. I could end up with literally anything, which I think would be really, really fun. I feel like I would, that would be fun to do, um, it'd be fun to do that just on my own too, but I like this page a lot. Okay, moving along. This book has a lot of Winnie the Pooh, so if you're into Winnie the Pooh, you'd like this book. Um, the first book doesn't have any Winnie the Pooh, and truthfully, I'm not sure if the third and fourth do either. I almost don't think they do, but I could be wrong. Love this Fantasia page. Fantasia is one of my favorites. Obviously, if you're gonna get, like, a bunch of books, you are gonna, like, come across different repeat characters and things like that, but honestly, I don't mind having the repeats because, like, I'm not gonna color necessarily, um, two Pinocchio pages in a row or two Mickey pages in a row, um, and, like, even if they're, like, a month apart, I feel like you're kind of coloring a whole different thing, um, and none of the pages are exactly the same. If anything, they're just, like, a little bit different, so... Love that page. Ugh. You guys, this book is just marvelous. Everything about it is amazing. 
And these books are also perfect for Meg and I's hashtag this month. And like I haven't said it enough, it is hashtag Enchanting Disney Coloring 2022, where you can color any Disney page and tag us on Instagram. We would love to see them. We are already seeing a bunch of really pretty pages. So I've seen lots of color by number. I've seen some non-color by number. And I love them all. And then just got the last page here. And that is Tomb 2. Okay, so we are getting into a series I have never tried before. Granted, I do have the Portraits book, which is very similar, but this is Trump Leol, and basically it is Optical Illusions. And um, I'm just going to flip to a random page. Um, so you guys can very clearly see two very dark outlined characters. When you color in the pages, they are going to be completely different. So this is not the person. These are not the people you are going to see um, in the pages. So let's just get right into the answer key, shall we? Just gonna open that up a little bit more. Um, one thing I have noticed, Danielle pointed out in her video, is that these color palettes are really small and um, concise in the in this book specifically probably because they have the gray outline I'm not sure um, that being said it makes for really simple coloring and you don't need that many colors which is really nice I love that Dumbo page Ugh, I'm so excited I've never tried like one of these pages again like I said I have portraits but that's not really the same thing um, yeah I really do like my portraits book though Got more Goofy, Bambi. Really fun Moana page. Love Sebastian. You guys, I just love them all. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I think this book in particular would be a really good one to start with for um, trying one of these non-black outline pages because of the very small color palette. Like, look at sadness. I love it. So fun. Yeah, I don't know. These books are so super duper fun. And I will leave a link down below the website I purchased this from. I'm not sure why I hadn't mentioned that before. I'll leave that link down below for you guys. So you guys can check out um, the books if you guys want. And I'll also leave down below um, a discount code. Um, I believe it's 10% off your first order. If you use my code, um, it is an, an affiliate link basically. Um, I would get some kickback for using the um, code, so you definitely don't have to use it if you don't want to, but totally up to you. Truthfully, I have not looked through this book or the next one really yet. I literally had just gotten home. I like quickly skimmed and I went, well, I guess the first time I'm really going to be looking at it will be while I'm filming, and I love it. I love it a ton. I love how much Inside Out is in this book. I mean, granted, I've only seen like two pages, but like, I feel like none of the other books really have Inside Out. So. Inside Out is honestly one of my favorite movies. I think it's so cute. When I was in Panama, we went to go see Inside Out and it was in Spanish. I'll admit I didn't know a single thing that was being said, but it was still really fun. And I had seen the movie in English beforehand, so that was helpful. Yeah, you even if you only bought one of one or two of these books, even just one, you would have hours of coloring to do. I have a long way to go now with having 11 books in this collection. But it's kind of nice though to have some books that are more simple than others. Um, but that is Trump Leol Tome 1. Okay, last but certainly not least is Fantasy Creatures. So this book came out at the same time Princesses came out, I believe. I have Princesses, I have a flip of that on the channel, and this is another one of those that came out during that time, and it is equally as challenging as the Princesses book. Um, some of the pages are pretty detailed, um, some of them not too bad, um, but some of them are pretty detailed. Um, but let's just get started on the answer key for this. I just adore these pages. Basically, this is just a bunch of the, like, non-human creatures, I guess. 
Um, so you got Tinkerbell, um, you got more of the fairies, um, Olaf. Okay, I remember this dude from Frozen, but like, what was his name? I don't remember. Did he even have a name? I remember him though. Actually, Frozen 2. That is Frozen, right? Yeah, that's Frozen 2. Okay. And same with, oh no, he's the same guy. He just changes. Yeah, okay. It's been a while since I've seen Frozen, but you guys know, actually, I think I told you guys, I got Disney Plus about a week or two ago, and I might want to rewatch Frozen 2 because love it. Like I said, I feel like it would be so fun to color a Disney page while watching that movie. I don't know. So something like this, like all three of these photos are very similar, um, but if you do them at three different times, like, you know, a couple months apart, like they kind of seem different each time, you know? I got the magic carpet, which I don't know if that's cheating or not, maybe a little bit, but that's okay. I don't really think the magic carpet's a magical creature necessarily, but I've noticed a lot of Little Mermaid in here, Little Mermaid 2, I guess. like something like this you guys oh my god I don't know if you guys can really see look how much detail is in that page I feel like that would take forever but maybe my random number generator will just happen to pick this I mean or that oh my god some of these are really detailed <laughs> like this one does not have much like many colors but it's detailed as heck I, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm talking so much in these videos, just like about, not about the pictures, but I hope you guys are enjoying it anyways. Yeah, there's a lot of like the same movie right here. Um, so again, just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about this book specifically. But there's definitely enough variety that it's okay. There's also a um, villains book coming out. Who are you guys? I'm probably going to grab that in February. I'll try not to buy maybe any more than that. I don't know. I really don't need it. But I'm going to get it. So Yeah, these are just so fun. I've got nothing bad to say about these. I really don't. Besides the fact that that one book had a typo and like had a weird, had the four thumbnails being wrong. Nothing bad to say about these books. Yeah, these are all Little Mermaid, but they're all different mermaids. So, I don't know. Interesting. And the last page. So yeah, some of these pages are definitely more detailed than others. Um, but for the most part, I just love these books a ton. And that is it. For today's flip and review, not really review, but flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're not already, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.